Hi, let's play a little game. I'm going to describe different types of managers and your job is to recall a manager either you know of or you have worked with that matches this description. So let's have the ground rules of this. The ground rules are very simple. Essentially, a manager's role is to take resources, which could be money, manpower, material, put it through a process and get results. Now, this process will always involve relationship. So we are going to be evaluating, describing these managers based on two parameters, how they build relationship and how they get results, right? Your job would be, like I said, to identify a manager that you can recall, okay, he was like this or she was like that. The first type of manager. This type of manager neither does anything to build relationship nor do they do anything to build uh, to get results. All they want to do is to ensure that their seat is intact. So they do the minimum possible required, right? I'm sure you'll be able to recall a manager like that. Let's look on to the next type of manager. Second type of manager, he or she will only want to build relationship and not worry about the results. So they want to push for more off days, less working hours, sort of like, like a union leader, you know, uh, give benefits to the people, not worried so much about how the organization is going to perform or the results the organization gets. Recall a manager like that. Let's move on to the third type of a manager. This one I'm sure you have come across a really tough taskmaster. Ensures work gets done, immaterial of your health, your wealth or your happiness. A fourth type of manager. This type of manager sort of compromises between relationship and results. So he or she will not have a great relationship with, nor will the organization achieve great results. So they sort of balance out between these two. Sounds better, much better than a relationship manager or a result oriented manager. Then there are two other types of manager. One is called the paternalist. Okay, the paternalist type of a manager looks after his team like they're his family. So everybody in this team, he's got children and their juniors are called his grandchildren, so to say. So he's got his favorite grandchildren and his favorite children and he's got his not so favorite grandchildren and children. So he sort of plays favorites. Um, he looks after relationship, looks after results, but not in a very healthy manner uh, because he's looking at them as his family. So if somebody speaks back to him, you know, tells him something, then he feels offended. Like my children are speaking back to me. This is not the way you should be. You should respect your elders. You should respect your seniors type of a guy. Now, this type of manager do recall someone like that. But he also gives rise or she gives rise to someone called an opportunist. These are people who are in the organization looking out for their own benefits. So if there's something to benefit for them personally, they get involved. If there is no personal gain, they don't get involved. So they're the opportunists. I'm sure you've come across managers like that. Now, all these managers you were recalling about people you know, met, etc. How about you? Where do you fit in? What type of a manager are you? Are you the type that does nothing? Are you the one that cares about relationship, not about results? Or results, not about relationship? Do you compromise? Are you paternalist or are you an opportunist? Now, when I went through the study of this whole program, I realized I was more like a compromise manager. And I used to think that that is the best way that a manager should be. Until I realized there is a much better way. That is a team manager. It's a person who looks after his team, builds very strong relationship and also goes out to get great results. He does not see it as any different. And when I learned about this I started uh, developing myself. I moved more towards a team manager rather than a compromise manager. And I have built a program that takes people from various uh, different management styles to this team management style. So my name is Dominic Ostubin. I'm director of Hospitality Training Institute. And I've been conducting this program called Framework of Management for quite a few years now. And we have come up with this three day workshop, which we are now going to be running in an outbound setting. and. We have opened it out to, we are retailing it. So, you know, individuals could join in. If you and your wife would like to join in, or if you if your girlfriend would like to join in, or you and some one from your organization would like to join in, you could join in with us. I mean, join us on this program. And we this program is going to be a really fun one because we have the theoretical part, but we have a lot of games and fun and engagement, which we call simulation, which actually simulates how the work environment would be but in a more fun way and you would get feedback on how you could improve how you could change and personally this this program is a life-changing program at least it's been for me and for many people i know so do join us for this program three-day workshop 
uh, get in touch with us the links below and hope to see you on the program god bless keep growing keep learning keep rocking don't forget to roll